Hey, I'll do a quick uh, weekend update here and cover the knock some more things off the bingo card. Uh, I've probably discussed most of this stuff already. First of all, on the 100 book challenge where I read 100 books that I already own, more or less, um, before I buy any others, and that includes library books. So I read four this week. Uh, Garth Marenghi's Terratome, I did a video on that. The Mirrors by Nicole Cushing, I'll talk about that in a minute. I'm Oh, I wrote this down, I haven't finished it. Oh no, I finished it, I haven't done a video on it yet though. I finished uh, Kathy Koja's book, Strange Angels. Um, and I might do a video on that later. I probably will do a video on her, because I'm reading another book by her of short stories, at least I'm going to attempt it. Uh, so there'll be uh, more talk about those. And then Close to Death, I did a video about yesterday. That's a, a mystery novel by Anthony Horowitz. So that brings me up to 31 total. I also read the British Paranormal Society graphic novel, which I borrowed from Hoopla. does not count on my total because I decided um, not to count graphic novels that I borrowed from Hoopla um, for whatever reason. Anyway doesn't count. So 31 out of 100, so a few more to go. Okay, so th these are some of the books I talked about just to remind people. I'm always, I'm always rereading this, listening to the audiobook of this. It's kind of one of my main Spanish training tools. Uh, so I listened to that again this week. No reason to go over that again. This book I talked about before, it's 1,200 1,200 stories by 120 writers or something like that. Great resource. Uh, Terror Tome, I did a video on. Me Hood, I used, I opened it. I thought it was going to be a short story. I was just going to knock it off. I bought it a long time ago. It's actually two novellas and a short story. The main one's called Me Hood. I do want to read it, so maybe I'll do that next time I need a horror break this month, which I probably do soon. Uh, there's a bunch of books down here that I'm thinking about for other stuff. And I did read The Mirrors by Nicole Cushing, which I thought was a novella. I've been holding on to it for when I wanted to read a good horror novella. It turns out it's a collection of short stories. I've read two novellas by her in the past, which I enjoyed. These stories, I think, were mostly written before those, and they were okay. There was a couple of interesting ones. I uh, marked, remarked on a couple of them because I can use them on my bingo card, which I'll cover in a minute. Um, didn't really... This collection, I believe, is from 2013. She's a younger writer, or at least she was at the time. There is This Suffering Clown story was pretty good. Uh, very stark imagery. The Last Kid Scared by Lugosi um, was interesting as well. It takes place on the anniversary of his, on, uh, oh, 2031. So this was probably written like 10 years ago. It takes, uh, uh, there's, it involves an exhibition of the remains of Bela Lugosi on the anniversary of the release of Dracula, the universal film that started all that off. I enjoyed that story as well. Not really much to talk about because it wasn't my favorite book this month, so there's no reason to belabor it. Let's see if I can get this off here. Okay, so where does that leave me on the Horror Mayhem bingo card? So the British Paranormal Society. Uh, oh, I've got to do this first. Is was my graphic novel. Frankly, that's the only reason I read it. Uh, you know what I thought about that, I guess, if you saw my video on that. Uh, Universal Monsters on my account. I was going to read, try and read The Bloody Red Baron by Kim Newman, which is a Dracula novel. Didn't get to it, but I can use that Bella Lugosi one. It probably fits more uh, strictly to the Universal Monsters. Anyway, Cult Horror. I think there was... I thought I marked this off. I had to re-mark all these because I didn't save it last time after I did the video, so all my marks were gone. Uh, cult horror, I'll probably think of something later. Translated horror, nothing. Psychological horror. That's pretty much everything I read. Um, well, the Kathy Ko Koja book, uh, 
accounts for that, even though I haven't done a video on it yet. I'll still mark it off because I have finished it. Cozy horror, cult horror, kidnappings, cannibalism, elemental. Uh, got an idea of something I'm going to do for that. Extreme horror, uh, the Garth Marenghi book counts for that because it was so absurd with his haunted typewriter and the body horror and stuff that happens to him in that. It's a parody of horror, so, of more extreme horror, so probably I could probably get all of these on there. Um, cosmic, there was, uh, there was a lot of, uh, um, pseudo Lovecraftian stuff in that uh, Nicole Cushing, uh, uh, collection. Curses, dolls, there was a clown, a scary clown story in that. I'll hold off on these others. Uh, I'm doing pretty good though. I don't. Translated for I'm sure there's some translations in that big uh, collection, but I haven't read them yet. Or haven't thought of them as translations. Probably the Japanese folktales by... Uh, retold by Fano. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Would count. I think that's probably enough. Looking ahead to this coming week, I'll probably do a video of... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Here it is. Here's the original. Oh, well. Anyway... I'm not going to redo it again. I'll, I'll redo it afterwards. Uh, do videos on Kathy Koja this week. Uh, a video on Anthony Horowitz, I, I think, is already up. Um, what else? Uh, I'm reading some Fritz Leiber. I read a couple short stories by Fritz Leiber, which were excellent. But I'm, I'm planning on reading Our Lady of Darkness by him this coming week. So that I'm going to count for the week three prompt, which was cl is classic horror. It's old enough, I think. I've seen videos where I'm going to count it as classic. Uh, I'm sure I've read other stuff I could count, too, which is much older. But I, I'd say it's a modern classic. Fritz... I'm really hot on Fritz Leiber right now. He's such an excellent writer. The two stories I read this week by him, I read out loud to myself because they're just such a pleasure to read. Let's see what I'm doing here on the cancel on the closing. That's it for my wrap up. Uh, I have one more library book that came in this week by Judy Dench. Uh, her, it's her book about Shakespeare and her relationship with acting in Shakespeare, which I'm going to read this week. That will be my non-horror contribution. Other than that, I'm going to try and stick with horror. Maybe that Mickey's Plane book. We'll see how it goes, and we'll talk later.